Hi. Although we usually use the decimal integer literals, which are the ones we learned in the very first years of our elementary school career, sometimes we can come across other types of literals, like binary, octal, or hexadecimal literals. You may need them one day, but even if you don't, it doesn't hurt to know what they are when you see them. So, let's have a look at them now. Let's start with something familiar, decimal literals. So, it's a typical decimal literal. The value of a is 21. And now let's talk about the others. Let's start with binary literals. We prefix binary literals with 0b, with small b or capital B. So, for example, a equals 0b 1001. So, this means this is a binary literal. And now let's print the value of a and the value of a is 9. This binary literal corresponds to 9 in our decimal system. We can also use capital B, doesn't matter, and the result is still the same. Then we have octal literals. Octal literals are prefixed by 0, O, Again, the O letter may be small or capital. So, for example, A equals 0, O, 7, 4, 5, 2, 4. And the decimal value of A is 31,060. We can also use capital O here, and it works the same. Okay. Then we have hexadecimal literals. These are prefixed by 0x. Again, x may be small or capital. For example, a equals 0x16 e2. And the decimal value of this number is 5858. And again, we can use a capital X here, doesn't matter. And the result is the same. In hexadecimal literals, the letter digits, like A for example, may be capitalized, like here, or small. So let's have a look at this. Small a. And the result is again the same. We can use the bin, oct, and hex functions to convert a decimal literal into the corresponding string representation of its binary, octal, or hexadecimal counterpart. So, for example, what is the binary representation of the number 25? Here we have it. This is the binary representation of 25. How about the octal representation of the number 100? So, a equals 100. And the octal representation of A is 144. And an example with a hex function. Print 1000 in hexadecimal notation is plus hex of 1000. And the output is here. Here we have the hexadecimal counterpart of the number 1000. We can use the int function to get the decimal integer corresponding to the binary, octal, or hexadecimal argument. So, if we have a number, a binary number, for example, and we want to check what its decimal representation is, we can pass it to the int function like so. 0b101. So, this is our binary number. This is the prefix. And the output is 5. So, this number corresponds to 5 in the decimal system. How about this? int, here we have an octal number, 00771. This corresponds to 505 in our decimal system. And one more example with a hexadecimal number, 0x14a5. This number is 5285. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great.
Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.